You, you mentioned uh, debt in EM currencies, but what about the impact of the US dollar on this story? It's, uh, it's been weakening, but it's still very strong. Uh, how does this alter the picture for EM investing? Yes, so I think the two biggest, in a simplistic manner, right, the two metrics that really work for this asset class relative to the developed markets in the US. One is the growth differentials, and it's the nominal growth differentials, uh, which is uh, the dollar feeds into that, and of course the dollar, it's the opposite trade. And I, f I believe that we are in a weaker dollar cycle because of a couple of reasons. One is dollars starting off uh, the, you know, the last, this decade actually, in, in, in very competitive, competitive metrics it is expensive and the other uh, the other thing is that the reserve bank diversification out of dollars also happening so there's uh, evidence of that the central banks globally bought the largest amount of gold thousand tons uh, in the last year highest on record and all of these alternative payment systems that we're, we're, we're hearing it's just going to dim the dollar's dominance over time and the rate differentials and the growth differentials that really drove uh, the dollar relative to um, most of the country cu currencies in the EM and developed world last year, uh, that's reversing. So I think the growth differentials and the rate differentials will favor uh, the emerging market asset class. Again, it's heterogeneous, mm -hmm. uh, but that's my view. Jitania, talking about stability and perhaps that fear of uncertainty, how did EM banks perform during all of the banking turmoil that we've seen so far? And what are we expecting for the latter part of the year, especially if you're thinking all of this will eventually lead to perhaps even a recession, the, the fact that we might not end up with a softish landing here in the U.S.? Right. So... Interestingly, EM banks in the last quarter were down only 140 basis points. Uh, U.S. banks were down 11 percent. European banks were down 15 percent. So again, there's proof in the pudding in terms of the performance of EM banks. They are much more better capitalized, uh, much better liquidity ratios, and they have regulations and rules around government securities and how much you can own and uh, mark-to-market losses. So I think that's, that's an important sign. Uh, also, uh, banks are a good way to play the domestic story, the growth story in emerging markets. So we do like the financial sector overall, uh, again, in different pockets of EM. But I think the one thing really different this time compared to the past EM risk-off uh, uh, periods is the fact that the dollar that the uh, local currency debt which used to be owned by foreigners in many of this these emerging markets that has come down significantly so take a market like Indonesia and Mexico where foreign ownership in the local bonds used to be as high as 40 percent that's come down to sub 20 percent and what was the original sin in EM right they used to borrow there was a risk of money used to get pulled out. That used to lead to currencies collapsing, interest rate response by the central bank, a clampdown on the economic activity and on the stock markets. And I see that being very different this time because... A, they did not expand their balance sheets, both at the sovereign level and the private level. Ex-China, of course, uh, China did that to some extent. Uh, but B, a lot of that debt, which is even residing is not really owned by foreigners to the extent that it used to be owned. So any risk off uh, globally will not transmit in the same way uh, like in the past. Uh, yeah, if there's a recession, yes, you know, everyone will correct. But the important thing is even in 2000, between 2000 and 2002, when U.S. was having a recession and a drawdown, in the second half of that drawdown, EM started actually outperforming. Mm. And once the cycle cleared and the markets and economies picked up, EM was off to a bull run. So I'm hoping it's the same this time.